Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. We do have an exciting semifinal game now between Paulding and Defiance High School. The score is tied, both with 30 points. In a coin toss earlier, Paulding won the coin toss, so you will lead this round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please make sure you buzz in with your answer, okay? Question one, what S word designates a wise man? <laughs> yes, go ahead. Sage. Sage is the answer. All right. Which U.S. president was born William Jefferson Blythe the fourth? Yes. William Henry Harrison. That is incorrect. The answer is Bill Clinton. All right. Name the New England state known as the Granite State. I think the buzzer rang in first. Okay. The answer there is New Hampshire. All right, who was the first African-American singer hired by the Metropolitan Opera? The answer, Marian Anderson. And you have one question remaining in this round. Which planet is the sixth closest to the sun? Yes. Saturn. Saturn is correct. All right, moving over to Defiance now. Everybody set? Mm -hmm. yeah. What Aesop fable includes the line, slow and steady wins the race? Yes. The Taurus and the hare. That is correct. What word designates a brief appearance in a film by a well-known star? Yes. A cameo. Cameo is correct. What country's capital is Kathmandu? Yes. Bangladesh. That is incorrect. Nepal is the answer. Mm -hmm. Name two of the three basic methods of heat transfer. Yes. Convection and conduction. You are correct. All right, your final question in this round. What playwright wrote The Odd Couple? Yes. Tennessee Williams? That is incorrect. The answer is Neil Simon. All right, we're going to move on now to round three, our final round. Our score, Paulding with 40 points, Defiance 45. Again, this is a round with 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. It's a close score, so it's anyone's guess right now. Here we go, question number one. Which Polish composer, born in 1810, wrote mazurkas, waltzes, and polonaises? Yes, that would be Defiance. Mozart. Mozart is incorrect. Paulding, do you want to try? Yes. Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky is also incorrect. Frederick Chopin is the answer. What word identifies the pupil stage in the life cycle of a butterfly? Yes, Paulding. A pupa? Pupa is incorrect. Defiance, you want to try? Chrysalis. Chrysalis is the answer. All right, give the S word, meaning imposing penalties to cut a trade imbalance. <clears throat> yes, Defiance. Sanctions. Sanctions is the answer. Whose image is engraved on the Purple Heart? 
Yes, that would be Paulding. George Washington's? George Washington is correct. Which U.S. president was defeated by FDR? Defiance? Calvin Coolidge. That is incorrect. So, Paulding, you want to try? Yes. Taft. Taft is also incorrect. Herbert Hoover is the answer. All right, what A word means something out of place in time? Yes, defiance. Anachronism? Anachronism is correct. What kind of animal is the fictional Stuart Little? Paulding. Mouse. Mouse is correct. All right, you have three questions remaining in your game. In which country did the Great October Revolution of 1917, yes, that would be defiance? Russia. Russia is the answer. Give the computer term that means to restart the computer. Defiance. Reboot. Reboot is correct. And your final question in your game. What senator introduced the Kansas-Nebraska Act of 1854? Paulding. Stephen Douglas. Stephen Douglas is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of a tough game between Paulding and Defiance, a semifinal game. And here is the score. Paulding, you came away with 70 points. Defiance, you are victorious with 95 points. Congratulations, you'll be moving on. And we want to thank you very much for joining us this year, Paulding. And congratulations. And we will be back with a game between Dolphus Jefferson and Patrick Henry right after the break. <laughs>